Once every few years, there comes an anime that all weebs can collectively say, Nice. Shows like, but not limited to, Attack on Titan, One Punch Man, Boku no Pico, my favourite, and Full Metal Alchemist. For 2021, that anime is Jujutsu Kaisen, and if you disagree, well that's just like your opinion. So, what makes Jujutsu Kaisen so effing good? If you have seen or read Jujutsu Kaisen, then I believe we can all agree that it is clearly influenced by its shonen predecessors, as it borrows some ideas in classical anime tropes from various works. Picasso once said, good artists copy, great artists steal. To me, Jujutsu Kaisen shares the most similarities to the smash hit anime, Naruto. So in this video, I'm going to break down what exactly Jujutsu Kaisen borrows from Naruto and whether it enhances these ideas or makes them poopy. This video is Jujutsu Kaisen versus Naruto. As we go through this video, I'm going to be giving points away for what series does what better. And by the end of the video, we're going to see who comes out with the most points, therefore clarifying the superior anime slash manga. So this topic is just about who does the best origin story for their inherited demonic superpower. Both main characters that have some of the strongest but unconventional powers in their respective narrative, with the difference being the way they obtained their power. Naruto had the nine-tailed fox forcefully sealed into him as a baby by his parents. I think we can all relate to that. Yuji, on the other hand, had to deep throat a finger, another thing we could also relate to. Yes, I do agree that the latter is a bit hotter and more exciting, but for a shonen that's aimed at the youth of Japan, I'm not too sure how appropriate that really is. The origin of Naruto's demon powers wasn't revealed until much later in the series, so when it was revealed, it had a fantastic and touching payoff. Jujutsu, on the other hand, the audience was present with Yuji obtaining his cursed power in episode 1, when we all witnessed, together, as a family, Yuji sucking down a veiny longboy right down his sin hole. So, my point goes to Naruto, as I think his cursed power origin story is a little bit better. And one point to Jujutsu Kaisen for no gag reflex, but also take away one point for being a little too inappropriate, leaving us with a score of 1 to 0. Now, what do you think is the better version? Finger deep throat or caging a fox inside a newborn? Please let me know in the comments below. And subscribe, subscribe. Who is the best rival? We have Sasuke versus Megumi. These characters serve as the rivals of the main characters. Very similar in appearance, but with very brooding personalities. These are the type of characters that make the anime fangirls go Right off the bat, Sasuke has a cooler name. Sasuke. 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 Which I believe literally translates to sexy snake. Megumi isn't as emo as Sasuke, but he's still pretty emo. So I'll give them both one point for emo-ness. I'm not really sure how my point system is working, but it just feels right. I don't think enough of Megumi has been shown to really compare the two characters yet, but it's going to be hard to have a quality backstory like OG Sasuke. Sasuke has dead parents, which is pretty cool. But not only that, pretty much his entire bloodline has been annihilated by his brother. However, Megumi has cool dogs. So I'm giving a point to Sasuke for Uchiha genocide, but two points to Megumi for cool dogs. And spoiler warning, I am also taking away one point from Megumi because he let one of his dogs die. Leaving us with two points for Sasuke and two points for Megumi. Sakura vs Nobara the main ladies of the shows. Can we get some music to set the tone? Thank you. These characters were both introduced at the start of the series. They both have close relationships with the main character and the rival. Both characters are quite different in appearance and personality, but they do share similar roles and powers. Both powerful women that rely on their strength and kick ass, just like Margaret Thatcher. I give one point to Sakura for beating the shit out of Sasori's puppets, but I also take away one point for leading Naruto on. I also give two points to Nobara for being a boss ass bitch and having a cool hammer, leaving us with a score for 0 to 2. The Battle of the Century, or should I say the Battle of the Sensatory. <laughs> lit. I think any person with eyeballs can see the similarities to these two laid back mysterious motherfuckers. Both have cool face coverings with one a bit more impractical than the other. 
both cool as fuck and serve as the teachers to the next generation. I give both characters points for being cool as fuck. Points to both for character design. However, I take away one point from Gojo as it would be hard to cosplay as him due to vision concerns. But then I give one point to Gojo for stunning blue eyes. One point for Kakashi for cool red eye. But then I take away one point from Kakashi for Uchiha cultural appropriation. And then I also give him one point for cool dogs. Woof woof. Who has the better ninjas? Now this topic is a bit of a tough one. It is clear that there are a lot of these so-called ninjas in Naruto, but their portrayal of ninjas are far-fetched to say the least. If we take a look back in the Edo period or some shit, we can see that there are very few ninjas who wore orange jumpsuits or could summon snakes out of their assholes. Jujutsu Kaisen on the other hand, I can't remember a single ninja. Maybe one or two, I think. So I guess this point goes to Naruto by default. You're a sorcerer, Harry. Who has the better sorcerers? The main group in Jujutsu Kaisen are the sorcerers. They use spells and stuff to fight curses. When you think of sorcerers, you may typically think of old men that hold their hardwood firmly in the palm of their warm hand as they shoot white substance out of it. In Jujutsu Kaisen, we have young hip sorcerers with a weird fashion sense instead. I don't know too many sorcerers in Naruto, but there are more sorcerers in that than there are ninjas in Jujutsu Kaisen. Just as I gave one point to Naruto for their ninjas, I give a point to Jujutsu Kaisen for their sorcerers. Please feel free to argue in the comments about how I scored this. Right, the final score, seven to seven. I personally did not expect a tie, but that is very exciting. I could take a point away from Naruto for having too much filler, but that's really out of its control. So what do you think of the final score? Was my scoring accurate? What else would you give points to Naruto or Jujutsu Kaisen for? Should I do a Naruto versus Black Clover? That show pretty much steals from Naruto. Or should I say Picasso's from Naruto? Please let me know in the comments below. Like and subscribe, it's my birthday in eight months.